Folks, we're making our way around to uh, the NCBFAA in the exhibition hall in the national con or the annual conference. I listen, folks. I've been talking too long here. I, I just like I would screw up a two-car parade in a one-block route. Okay, so here we are, and we're coming around to different exhibitors here. So, epic, right? Epic. All right, epic. and tell folks who you are and, and what your company is. Epic Insurance Brokers and Consultants are uh, insurance providers for transportation, both international and domestic, which most of this conference is. With um, We have a lot of our clients here and prospective clients, so we come every year. Okay, so when you're talking about like transportation insurance, so for example, let me go through there. Everybody knows about the Baltimore Bridge fall and all that. Have uh, so would you be called uh, dealing with if I've got shipments in a container that's on that ship that got uh, damaged? It would be, and that would be a, a general average type of claim where everybody general average is the original form of insurance mm -hmm. from Lloyd's Coffee House okay. in the 1800s when every person on the voyage participates in the risk, meaning you'd have to pay money to get your cargo released. But yes, it's that was more of a, a an export cargo. We're more on the import side, mm -hmm. so we didn't really we weren't affected. But there are many many you know shippers were. Well, I know there's. Well, obviously there. Uh, on one respect, I will say that you know there's different modes of transportation. So mm -hmm. I, I get that. Let's we'll stay with the ocean for a second then. So if I've got a shipment that is uh, making its way, or a container, or whatever. And for whatever reason, the container goes overboard or, um, you know, as rare as it is, there have been two container ships that collide somewhere. It may get damaged. Oh. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen in real life, Andy. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, you, you would purchase cargo insurance, and that's something that we do provide. You'd also um, hire uh, a freight forwarder and customs broker to get those goods from one place, point A to point B, mm -hmm. and they work with insurance providers, of which there's a few in the room here, and we provide cargo and the ability to post a bond to clear U.S. Customs. Mm -hmm. And um, as simple as that sounds, it's fraught with regulations oh, yeah. and can get very, very complicated. Well, all right, so let's go into your consulting side of things. So where is it that if I am an importer, where is it that I need that expertise from you? It would be more on the, the forwarding side, but to manage their risk, because brokers and forwarders have limits of liability that they, um, on their, their documents, that like a power of attorney or you know, the bills of lading that they execute. So those, these forwarders are limited in their, li they're limited in their liability, and we guide them um, through also network attorneys, mm -hmm. and there's a whole swirling group of people that help these folks Good. do the right thing and do it well. The target audience here with this uh, association, it would be obviously break, uh, brokers and freight forwarders and all that. Have you had a good interaction with those folks at this uh, conference? Always, yeah. always. There are more than clients and prospective clients, they're friends, mm -hmm. uh, close friends for many years. Oh, excellent. So, well, with that, I will say, Ed, I appreciate your time here. Thank Folks, you. watch uh, and like us, share us, look at this. If you're interested, Epic Insurance Brokers and Consultants is worth uh, checking out, obviously. Thank and you, with the NCB FAA and uh, in, down in Fort Lauderdale, we appreciate your time. This is Andy Shiles for the uh, Simply Trade Podcast.